Keyword research is a critical part of search engine optimization. In this video, I want to show you a quick way, or actually a couple quick ways, of how to figure out the questions that your target customers might be asking on Google. Let's get started. The first point is you got to know your keywords to do effective SEO. That's sort of a no brainer. You know, you have to figure out what are the keywords that people enter into Google. Increasingly, people want to look at questions because people ask questions. They say, hey, Google, you know, what is probate law or hey, Google, uh, how does a hair transplant work? So part of your initial keyword research looks to look at questions. And once you know what the questions are, you can try to rank for featured snippets, which is another video. All right, let's pop over to Google. And I just use the example of will contest probate attorney. It's kind of an easy example. So take your keyword, in this case, will or probate, let's imagine you're a probate attorney, and just type in a few how to or what does. So how to and then put in will contest or something like that. So start with some sort of question. How to is a good one. What is, how much, can, steps, these sorts of things. So now we have how to will contest. And you can see down here, how do you win a will contest? How do you contest a will without a lawyer? What are reasons to contest a will? Now on each one of these, you can expand it and you can click into it. And when you click into it, you can you can get more questions. So one trick is to look at a question that's relevant for your uh, business and then click over into the questions and you can see more questions. Can a will be? Now, this is great for blogging. What else can you do, which is pretty cool? Go to the last question in the list, open it and close it and Google will give you more questions. So you can literally take kind of a starter question, how do you contest a will, and find more. Now, you can also do it with what is. What is probate? What is probate? And you can see here, can you avoid probate? And then you can drill over to, can you avoid probate, and see more questions. And here's a good example of winning the featured snippet, which is another video. Now, at the bottom, you'll also see some good questions here. You can click into the question and again see that people also ask and go to the bottom one and open it. So this is a great way to brainstorm what are questions that your customers ask with reference to a target core keyword such as assets or probate or will contest and then helper words like what is, how do you, when is, etc. Now that's the, the first kind of primary Google technique. Another good technique is to use a tool called Answer the Public, which is free. So go to Answer the Public, kind of ignore the creepy man, he always creeps me out, type in probate, right? whatever your core keyword term is, let it kind of do its thing, and this tool basically pulls a lot of the questions and formats and whatnot from Google. It's another good research tool for figuring out questions that customers have. Now they're a little hard to see on your screen, but you can see here what probate means with the will and you can you can click on that and it'll take you to Google and again you'll see the question. So this tool is a wonderful way of generating those starter questions from a seed keyword and, and it's just a fantastic free tool uh, to get to. All right, so let's just wrap up. So what we're doing is keyword research, which is fundamental for search engine optimization. We're looking at questions because people increasingly ask questions of Google. They type questions into Google. They talk into their phones. Uh, one technique is to go to the PAAs that people also ask on Google and play around with the PAAs with a keyword and a question helper. And another technique is to use the free tool, Answer the Public. And at the end of this exercise, you should have a robust list of some great questions that you can write on your blog, put on your FAQ document, uh, optimize your website around. So thank you for watching. I hope you got some information here for keyword research using the PAA function on Google.